Hello makers and welcome to Sheer Stitchery. I'm Katherine Harris and if you're new here I do sewing and DIY tutorials each week so don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can catch more. This week I wanted to share with you my November subscription box from the Sew Society. Now I understand it's late December, it's practically Christmas, but my November box just arrived and I had to get on it right away, share an unboxing as well as the... So when we open up the box, you have some beautiful tissue paper that it is wrapped in and nicely sealed. And the first thing that you find is an instruction manual on everything that's included inside the box. Now this is my bonus fabric. So it's not in all of the boxes, at least I don't think so because I'm on a multi-month subscription it is an art gallery fabric by Marine Cracknell and it's a fat quarter from the Cozy and Joyful collection. Next up we have a quarter yard or a fat quarter of this sweater knit fabric which has a decent amount of stretch going both ways perfect to make those fingerless gloves. Next, we have a third of a yard cut of French terry fabric, as well as a two yard cut of the printed French terry fabric. This doesn't have a lot of stretch along the grain line, but crosswise, it does have a decent amount of stretch going on. Now this French terry is cotton, so you're going to want to machine wash in cold and I wouldn't put it in the dryer, but it says you can tumble dry on low, but I always worry about shrinking. Don't forget to pre-shrink your fabric. Next, we have the Molly sweater pattern. This one was a download. And then we've got a couple of accessories included as well, including Guterman thread, some pins, these clips, and a lovely jumbo tape measure, which I was in dire need of as well. So with the beautiful French terry fabric that was included in this, I decided to make the Molly sweater, which was a pattern download that is also included with the subscription box. So when you get the box, you get a special code where you can download the pattern. And so this was the main sew. So when you get your box, you tend to get one main sew, one accessory, and then you get another piece of fabric for something else, as well as a couple other items like pins and tools like the measuring tape and the clips for knit fabric, which was very well timed with this because this is knitwear. You don't always use pins. I did, but also those lovely clips work so well. So I decided to make the Molly sweater. And if you want a full tutorial on that, I will leave the video up here as well as in the description down below where I go through the full sew along as well as a pattern review for this sweater. Now for the accessory this month, it was a pair of fingerless gloves. And I really liked these gloves, especially the fabric. Now this fabric is, it looks almost like it was knit with knitting needles. It is beautiful and supple, and it's a bit of a bother to sew with. So just make sure that you, you know, change your needle so that it's not a universal needle. It'll work a lot better for you. I've got a quick sew along on how we did them up. The only way you're gonna get this pattern is through the subscription box. And I know that you can buy past subscription boxes. So if you're super interested in this, you can either draft a pair of your own, uh, not very hard, just by kind of tracing your hand, or you can order an old box. And this is by no means sponsored in any way, but you can go and order an old box and then you can get these same things as well. So we're going to make the fingerless mittens, which is a great stash buster project. So I've traced out the pattern here, and then we're going to fold over the thumb piece on all four pieces of the mittens. Make sure to cut out mirror images of them so that you have a left and a right and a top and a bottom. So once you've done that, we are going to pin them together and stitch the sides. So going down each of the sides so your hand fits through just like so. Next, we are going to hem the top cuff of the mitten. And if you wanted to have full mitten gloves, you just need to create that rounded portion over your fingers. So once that's stitched in place, we are going to do the cuffs and we are going to fold them. And then we are going to stitch along here. 
and turn them out right side and making sure that you're using the greatest degree of stretch going along the width of the fabric here. And then we are going to fold it together and place it over top of the mitten. And then we are going to stitch that in place. I used a serger so that it was nice and stretchy. And our mittens are all done and ready to wear. Aren't these cute? I absolutely adore them. And in fact, my daughter wants me to make her a pair and there is enough fabric inside this kit for me to make another pair for her. I'm so excited. Now, the last piece was this lovely piece of art gallery cotton fabric and you get a fat quarter with it. And I wasn't entirely certain on what I was going to make. And since I am making all of this and filming all of this all in the same day that I, you know, from getting back from the post box, I haven't yet made these, but I've decided that I'm going to make some Christmas coasters with this fabric and I will share that with you. And maybe by the time I'm editing this, I will have them all made and I can insert a picture. If not, stay tuned on my Instagram at Sheer Stitchery and you will see some pictures and videos of that soon. And other than that, those were the three projects you had as well as some of the accessories. So I wanted to talk about how much this box is worth. So every box has a value of 60 US dollars, plus many of the boxes include exclusive items that can only be given to the subscribers of the box. Now it sells for about $48 US each month. Now it does vary for international and Canadian subscribers. That being said, if you choose a multi-month subscription, it does come out cheaper and you are also getting additional items in that box when you choose that multi-item section. Uh, in terms of what kind of fabric will be in the box, it does vary from month to month, but they do guarantee that it will be high quality and a lot of fun. The fabric may be a woven or a knit and can include something like a quilting weight, cotton or voil. And the fa fabric will always complement the patterns that are included and will be enough to complete the pattern if you decide to do it in any of that size ranges. Now, each box, you will receive two yards or more of fabric for the main apparel sewing project, a pattern, whether that's digital or a hard copy, a smaller pattern and a smaller cut of fabric to go with it, as well as three or more sewing notions. Now, what type of patterns will be in the box? It will include an apparel pattern, which can be made with those two yards or a fabric, no matter the sizing. So if you're an extra, extra small or an extra, extra large, you'll be able to make that pattern no problem. Also in the box will be a mini pattern or scrap busting pattern, and they'll be quick, easy, and can be made with a minimal amount of fabric. These patterns might be something for the home, an accessory, a stuffed animal, or anything else that they can imagine. Now, in terms of selecting the types of fabrics that come in the box each month, um, it is a surprise for you, but they do have you complete a short survey at registration and they use those answers to help decide what will go into your specific box. And I thought I would end with my thoughts on the box. Personally, this I absolutely love this box. This is the first time that I have received this box. And one of the things I like most about it is the fact that I can customize what comes in the box. So what I mean by that is they ask a couple of questions to get to know you just a little better. Do you like big, bold prints? Or do you like more pastels and neutrals? Or do you like animal prints? And they, they really ask a lot about what your personality on what you like to sew with and they build a box around that. So of course, being me, I let them know that I like neutrals, pastels, lots of pinks and blues and creams and tans, no animal prints, and that I really like retro styled things. And this was just bang on uh, with the colors. So traditionally, if I'd pop into the shops, I probably wouldn't have grabbed this teal because it seems rather dark to me. That being said, the beautiful pinks and rose colored tones on this French terry in the floral, and it really pulls out 
these nice complimentary colors and I happen to get these rose colored leggings that I'm wearing in, uh, in the video here and they match perfectly with my rose colored leggings that I already have. So I think that they did a great job of matching this to my personality. I'm excited to see what my December box will have. I was really hoping to have my December box for Christmas because Christmas is my most favorite time of the year. But in January, I'm sure you'll see a updated Christmas box on this. If you wanna get your hands on the subscription box, I'll leave it in a link in the description down below. And by no means is this video sponsored in any way. It's just me giving my honest feedback on this. So if you wanna see anything else, let me know in the comments down below. So if you've had some past subscription boxes, I would love to hear your thoughts on what they were and what some of your favorite patterns were from this subscription box. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, makers, let's get our sewspiration on. Bum, bum, ba -da, ba -da, bum, bum.